and we are start of our motor that means uh, our rotating of our motor in the forward section see you see that it's a forward that means our pfd going to the forward running in here so friends now i want to describe how to you connect of your this uh, digital input switches four switches we are connected in here when we are connected of our this average which is here in here this is a 24 voltage and this is a dc and dcom uh, which is short by from the company and uh, this is the DOI, di1 and this is the di2 and this is the di3 and di4 di3 and di4 di3 and di4 again i said di3 for di3 di4 and di4 this is the uh, blue and this is the blue this is the blue three fins for the this uh, blue three fins and this blue three fins for this blue three fins and this is the uh, green and uh, four uh, green in here and this blue four green green and this four green in here so all kinds of uh, your color management and color balancing systems we are uh, very clearly said uh, which is connected wire and di1 di2 di3 and di4 di1 di2 di3 and di4 are all our input digital input uh, and di1 di2 di3 and di4 and this is the, our potentiometer which is we are connected of our this uh, 10 volt a1 and agent which is a uh, uh, star in here a1 agent ai2 and which that means here we are um, connected of our two uh, potentiometer in this place in here but we are uh, taking one potentiometer which is a uh, this is the potentiometer or variable register how uh, we are um, control of our this 10 volt uh, that means this 10 volt uh, ai1 in by agent uh, that means uh, by potentiometer okay Due to 10 volt variation or generating voltage so friends now i want to connect in front of you how to you connect of your devices from this in here first i want to connect di1 okay so you say in here this is the di1 which is the, your rotating of your uh, screw uh, then and deeply connected and this is the uh, connected in here this is the di1 that means our first switch is um, confirmed uh, for turns of your wire which is loose or not loose or tight and this is confirmed must be and then go to this uh, di2 uh, which is uh, this is the di2 and a uh, first loose of your screw then in the whole side and then tight the screw and then confirm of your wire which is a uh, tighter loose and then go to this uh, di3 this is the di3 which is already loaded in here so now i go to this uh, all positions in here and then tight of your wire for di3 and this is our di4 shoe is uh, we are connected in di4 okay so friends uh, i hope you clearly understand this is a di4 connections in here so friends our di1 di2 di3 and di4 which is serial connections di1 di2 and di3 and di4 okay so friends now i connect of uh, the potentiometer of this here first is uh, this is uh, ensure of your these three terminals of potentiometer the middle is going is going always uh, the plus 10 volts that means this is the uh, green and this is the green. This is the serials and this is the serial. This is the last number and this is the last number screw. And then go to this. Uh, this is the plus ten. Okay. And then go to this. Uh, this is the plus tens and then go to this your AI one and agent. That means first uh, potentiometer which is connected. Two cables is not maintained. Uh, first time see here. You further you go into this clear which cable is going to this uh, our positions in here that means uh, ai1 go to say another cable is going to this uh, ground, ground positions in here and uh, when we are supply when you are rotating of uh, this potentiometer when clockwise rotations are increasing of our frequency that means our this connection is okay when we are uh, forward um, uh, increasing of our forward that means uh, the times is uh, decreasing that means our agent and ai1 is uh, connection is fault that means uh, it's a uh, correction should be needed in here but uh, 10 volt is always fixed in here okay so friends now we are uh, going to this uh, this common terminals of this uh, digital switch it's going to this uh, plus uh, 24 voltage in here plus 24 voltage first you lose off your screw then uh, try the screw before the hole 
and share okay so now the connected this is a chart of terminals of uh, in here you say you see in here this is the all is connected in uh, once in here yeah. so friends uh, uh, so firstly we are confirmed every switches which is uh, directly connected or not in here so friends so now you are uh, seeing here this is the uh, short terminals which is uh, uh, going it's going to this uh, this terminals is uh, second port and uh, two number side of the switch and this is going to this in here and it's going to this in here and uh, this short terminals going to this 24 voltage that means our this connection is fulfilled right now in here this is the dr1 dr2 dr3 dr4 which is short terminals going to this 24 volts okay so friends now we are clear of all these connection systems for digital input for this every bara so friends, this is a potential meter which is connected in plus 10 volt A1 and AGN. In the previous uh, our video, you are seeing here that means clearly you understand which is the connection. What is the connection systems of this potential meter? Okay. So friends, external all terminals we are connected in here. Uh, this is the potential meter for control of our frequency, and this is our direction. Okay. So friends, now we are going to this. Uh, contact to the directly power of this LED in bara. So friends, now we want to describe about the power sections of this in bara. We are control of our this uh, in bara by 380 volts. You are seeing here, this is the L1, L2 and L3. Clearly, it connected in there. But uh, we are connected is, uh, this is the L1 and L3. That means 380 by this transformer. This transformer is, you are seeing here, this is the a 380 voltage from the 2 to IT. You say convert it to this transformer. This is the low side and this is the high side. And this 380 is uh, going to this two phase. That means uh, L1 and L2. Suppose L1 and L2, that is dependent on the EU. That uh, we are connected in here. This is the L1 and L3. This is a one phase is missing in here. But this is the little problem created of in our disembara. You know better. This is a 380, but um, uh, going to this L1 and L3. But our far quickly, this is the UVW, which is a three phase connected directly. This is our model side in here. This is a U1, B1, and tab one and our second part is UV, U, U2, V2, and W2, which is a serial connected that means a short terminals as like as a star, as a star junctions in here. So friends, this is our input, which is connected in here as usual of our connection systems of our previous video. And this is our completed of our power sections. So friends, so now I am going to this uh, active the supply from this, uh, this circuit breaker. From the circuit breaker on, our going to this, our supply is open right now in here. So friends, this is the, our local, indicated the local mode, okay, and this is a warning, that means our start function, this is ready to start, or to run, positions in here, and this is the forward, and this is the, our hours, that means um, how, how much uh, our maximum hours are contained in our line frequency in here. So friends, uh, this is the, our local uh, mode in here, while we are connected uh, for this uh, BFD in, uh, by supply. That means this is a local, that means our panel mode. When we are start of our motor, that means uh, our rotating of our motor in the uh, forward section. See here, you see that it's a forward. That means our BFD going to the forward running in here. So our, this private lead will be, and this is stopped running in here. This uh, frequency will be stopped, our motor will be stopped in here. The acceleration and deceleration is depressing in here, that means that. So our local mode in here, that's why we are uh, start of our motor, this is directly start of our this section in here. So friends, now I'm going going to this uh, motor data of this uh, parameters. Uh, how what is the motor data and uh, what is the motor parameter in this? This is a motor data. That means 99 parameter is a motor data or motor parameter is a permanent magnet synchronous motor. Okay, that means permanent magnet motor, a synchronous type of motor, all kinds of extra facility given in the ABV by this new invented motor. So friends, this is the uh, 99 parameter is motor data or motor parameter. Uh, parameter we are ensured by this 99 parameter. Motor nominal kind that means rated current and uh, which mode we 
year is the run of our motor, this is better or scalar. Better is the very critical sections on we are fully run of our motor, and the times it's a better motor is uh, uh, implemented in our factory. And then, and this is a test, a test purpose, that's why we are connected of our motor, the scalar motor. The scalar is very easily when we are details, uh, we are uh, read of uh, these sections and uh, in here descriptions that uh, the times you got your answer. Why we are connected of our motor in better mode and why we are connected of our mode in a scalar mode. And uh, when we are going to the motor, nominal current. The nominal current means uh, a rated current. And uh, when we are going to the nominal voltage, that is a rated voltage. Nominal frequency, that means uh, which frequency, which is standard frequency of your line frequency, 60 or 50. And nominal speed, which uh, speed we are built of our, this motor. Maximum uh, nominal speed or rated speed. Motor nominal power, that means kilowatt. Motor nominal capacitor or power factor. A nominal torque, that means uh, newton meter. Or twenty point or uh, rotating in a suddenly of your motor in any moment in here. So, for instance, first time is motor types, and uh, initially we are introducing the motor. What is the motor parameter? And first we are going to this motor. The times you are got your answer. Okay, so friends, now this stuffed of our VFD. Then what is our motor nameplate in here? This is the Boltus three eighty. Remember, this is the motor three phase voltage is uh, rated voltage is 380. Motor current is two, and motor frequency is 50 hertz. Motor speed 1390 rotation per minute. That means uh, 1390 rotation per minute. Okay. So friends, this is the motor parameter. Normally, we are using in here. And first and very important is 0.75 kilowatt. That means one horsepower. That means our motor parameter is 1 horsepower or 1.75 kilowatt. And current is 2 ampere rated. Motor voltage rated voltage is 380. Motor speed or RPM is uh, 1390. That means 1390 rotation. And you will see this is the first topic. This is a 99 group parameter. It's initially state of this uh, parameters in here. Is, uh, is your up and downs by joysticks. This is the... Uh, Asynchronous and uh, decreasing time. That means uh, your acceleration and deacceleration time maintains uh, when you are connect of our BFT by initial times. This is the and this is our decreasing time. Initial and decreasing. This initial and decreasing times maintain all this in here. So this is the our panel mode. First times you are check how to set up of what this motor parameter in here. Asynchronous motor means you are as like as induction motor which is a sequential running in here but the uh, second is your primary magnet moving coils uh, and uh, uh, this is a very normally induction motor that's why we are select this asynchronous motor and uh, the 0.75 kilowatt this is the, our rated motor kilowatt or power okay so friends this is the one main point and two is our rated our ampere of our motor and 380 is our voltage of our motor and uh, 50 Hz is our line frequency and uh, it's all kinds of uh, parameter which we have selected from our given to our uh, motor data types. So this is the rate which is uh, written in our motor that's why we have selected of the same kinds of parameter in our this BFT. That means introduced to our this um, BFT from the motor induction motor that's why we have selected the first we have selected this uh, group parameter or uh, 99 parameters uh, is a motor parameter and this is the, our main parameter sections is the parameter list we are enter and that that times you are selected this is a g1 to 99 you are selected g1 to 99 it's a huge parameter involving in so all kinds of parameters in here but 99 parameters this is a motor parameter or motor data parameter which we have selected in here now look at here this is the look Local mode. The local mode. This is the panel mode, uh, and uh, you are seeing here. This is the keypad option. Only keypad. Only this. Uh, you are local mode. Uh, this is the only keypad which you are start of your motor. You are seeing here. This is the start of your motor. This is a uh, 50 hertz. Uh, is a sequentially you are uh, forward running is in here. This is the run by your panel mode. That means local means your panel. You are run your motor by this uh, uh, keypad and stop also of your motor by this keypad. This is the 
local mode and this is the main fact and this is the main operation point of our this local sections of uh, keypad or local options in here and external this is the panel mode all kinds of switches or all kinds of externally you are not operated um, uh, could not operate it and uh, does not able to operate it of any kinds of shoes selected in here first time you select of your mode local to remote mode then you are a, then you are a run of your motor by external or any kinds of shoes first time first time you select of your motor by amount of parameters in a remote mode then you run of your motor by externally and now this is a remote mode and you select and this is not working in here this is a local mode or panel mode does not operate in here and that this is that you ask to you this is already in remote mode you should be go to this local mode then you operate of your motor by this local mode the first steps you select of your local mode then you operate it in here but your motor right now in remote mode that's that's why you are not selected in here so now we are mo our motor run by this external positions this is the our remote position so remote control mode and uh, our um, bft run by this uh, four shoes uh, two is forward and uh, for reverse and two for external or jogs your any kind of situation as well so now our motor is running in the forward mode but external by shoes but select the shoes so this is the main factor and this is the main facility in the external and local mode so it's the very uh, simply you will see and rotating point is also direction point you see in here the frequency also negative and positives you see in here and uh, this is the main factor so when we are one to our motor run by external first time you select of your mode by external and this is the our potentiometer which is uh, selected by potentiometer so externally we have control of what this pfd speed you look at here our decreasing and increasing increasing and decreasing of our speed by this potentiometer the potentiometer is also external I mean, we are selected of your this bft by remote mode the times we are so all kinds of uh, facility by external we are taken uh, from this bft or from these devices any kinds of devices when you are selected of your remote mode or external mode the times your facility all kinds of selected shoes uh, push button shoes or potentiometer you are selected uh, specifically and, and uh, some uh, brands there are also and now uh, uh, involving cyan now our motor is uh, going to this reverse option uh, reverse is rotating in here so step by steps all kinds of facility in here this is a reverse mode first time say this is going to this forward mode and now now the reverse mode you see in here the directions and minus is all kinds of um, directions you will see in here that our motor is going to this reverse or forward directions and minus minus means your frequency is minus but the motor is going to this reverse position so uh, this is the main fact and uh, notable things uh, this is um, our uh, abb inverter first time you selected of any kinds of parameters so first time you go into this local mode then you selected of any kinds of or edited of any kinds of parameters in abb pft this is the facility you are uh, could not able to um, any kinds of uh, uh, parameter you selected by externally First time you go into this local mode, then you select off your any kinds of BFD parameters in local mode. Externally or remote mode, you are not selected, uh, you could not select to any kinds of parameters. This is the security purpose. Like a security purpose, your memory, your BFD memory is does not take us off any kinds of uh, data by external when you are selected off your motor by external. So this is the main fact on security purpose uh, there are involving of this security in here jog mode first time you select the jog mode but important thing this is uh, when you are select the scale mode uh, the times you are not uh, select the jog mode only you are select the multi mode so when our bft is running in the scalar mode the times you not um, select the jog mode now we are um, uh, running for this multi mode this is a multi steps parameter 22 find 2 2 is all kinds of uh, parameter there are included for the multi sections that means 22.26 uh, this all kinds of parameters they are included for this multi options so to the power 2 this means uh, in the form 
four steps you are selected for these sections you are individually of this section you are see look at here this is the 22.2 Two six all kinds of parameters in here all is for our multi mode options in here go to this uh, our um, uh, parameters of a parameter list and then go to this uh, 22.27 that means 22 uh, from the 22 group and then go to the 20 to 6 okay Twenty-two to six is all kinds of uh, switches that there are enclosed in a frequency now uh, increasing the ten hertz uh, for the first step. That means the zero one. Uh, then go to the uh, twenty. Uh, to this is the um, fifteen. Uh, fifteen hertz and for the uh, for the one one zero and then go to this is a twenty hertz uh, for the one and one. That means uh, two selected switch will be high. The times is uh, going to this twenty hertz speed. Uh, get uh, for this sections in here. So all kinds of parameters uh, you are selected to the four. That means our um, uh, this is a first step is a ten, uh, second step is a fifteen, and third step is a twenty. That means uh, our um, you are also selected the twenty five uh, because um, our nearest uh, uh, that was the twenty. So uh, when we are selected the multi steps point, uh, multi switch uh, J three and J four is also two switch is uh, for multi steps uh, for frequency. That means two to the power two equals to four. So now this is the going to this uh, uh, only for 10 hertz. Okay, you go into this for 10, 10 hertz because uh, we are now you select the for the 10 hertz uh, for the 0 1. That means uh, one condition say uh, you are selected for the um, uh, 0 1. Uh, when we are selected the uh, 1 0, the times is going to this uh, um, uh, 15 hertz. Okay, now you are going to the 15 hertz. That is 1 0. Now when we are going to this uh, uh, 1 and 1, the times it's going to this. Uh, the increasing of our frequency 20 hertz okay so friends this is the multi-step frequency or uh, this is the di1 and di2 all is the forward and reverse and di3 and di4 is for the multi-step parameter setting in here so friends this is the overview of a new embedded mvv inverter if you have any questions about the video part one and part two please comment below and like share of this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icons. Still tune for another view of a Planet Automation Limited support to us. Um, follow the next video tutorial. I hope new coming video will be kinds of new information. Till then, Allah Hafiz.